Hi everyone, so we're back at the mill. This is part two of the goats. And you see Constantine, who you met yesterday. There is Aki, a one-year-old boy. Look at the size of his horns. One of these days he's going to topple over. I mean, compared to the rest of his body, those horns are huge. Next to him is Aeneas. Caramel, beautiful caramel boy. Right, right, Aeneas. Oh my goodness. Sweet, sweet boy, also a year old. And a sweetheart. Bit of a wimp, actually, I would say, at least. Yes, yes, everything bothers him. Everything scares him. He has a weak stomach, too, so his rumen gives him problems all the time. Hayake, hayake, lare. Look at you, beautiful boy. Yes, you beautiful boy. Oh, my goodness. Now, Drusilla. There's Drusilla, our only sheep. We have um, named her Murder Sheep because she has tried to kill every single female goat we have. And you can see she's very, very large. We had her sister also staying with us for a bit and we had to separate them because she tried to kill her too. She's just not friendly with other, with other female animals. Well, with the males, you see, she gets fine. She gets along fine. How is Dur? Over there in the distance, see if we can get him to come a little bit closer. Edur! Edur! Hi, Drusilla. Is your name Edur? Are any of your names Edur? No. Edur! Edur! Hi, Edur! He's the patriarch and the father of all the babies. And he's temperamental. Let's say temperamental. Be kind. Let's use that word. Look at the size of those horns. Look at, I mean, look at his size. He's a humongous animal. Hi, Edur. Can you come over here, baby? Hi. Hi. Your face itches. And those horns are, they're painful. He's hit me a few times with those. And I'm the person he likes, so I don't know what he would do to people he doesn't like. Hi, my baby. Hi, you sweet boy. Well, I call you sweet boy. You're not really sweet. Are you? You're not. You're temperamental. Yes. Hi. 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 My big monster. Hmm? Okay. Who do we have here? Constantine again. Hi, Constantine. Let's see what we if we can see. Oh, and there's more way now. There's a little princess, Morwenna. Now, Morwenna was born with a bit of a wonky head. So she holds it a bit strangely. For the first few days, she couldn't stand up or move really at all. So we had to hold her up so she could drink from her mom and get the colostrum that she needs, that she needed. Um, but now she's doing much better. She eats fine, drinks fine. And she sleeps on the bed with us. <laughs> so she's doing fine. <laughs> Hi. Let's see where Proserpina is. There's Lady, the whom you met yesterday. And we have Proserpina behind her, who is Morwenna's mom. Now, Proserpina is not entirely sane, we don't think. She is the goat who will find any hole and try to escape. Even if it's just her head fits through it. She will stick her head through it and, like, good luck. Hi. No, we're really not sure if she's sane. Some milk, some milk, some milk from Moana. That was, she couldn't do that at all the first few days after her birth. We had to hold her up completely so she could reach the teeth. But now you see she's fine. And that's it. I think you've been introduced to all the goats here we have at the mill. Oh, and there's the... There are the two guinea fowl. Alma and Gusta. They're so loud. They're so, so loud. And that's it. That's everyone. At least goat and guinea fowl related. And sheep. Let's not forget the murder sheep. Hi, Edur. Quick goodbye to Edur. 
Look what he's done to this fence. Look, see, that's where we have to put the new fence in. Because he, look at, look at that. Look at that guilty face. Look at that guilty face. Right, my baby? Yes. Oh, you sweet boy. Oh, you sweet boy. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, he did that. Single-handedly. Do you hear those? Can you fall? Do you hear them? That's every day, the whole day. And they promised that they would have eggs. I haven't seen a single egg yet. So, like, come on.